Hey guys, it's Pyram and welcome to Python tutorial number 30. In this tutorial we're going to be looking at something uh, quickly. We're not actually going to be looking at the um, what I said we were going to be talking about last tutorial. We're just going to look at a function very quickly which you can use to help you find out whether a value is true or false. Um, and that is the bool function. Okay. Now this works um, exactly the same as the string function or the int function you know the ones that look like this string which turns something into a string and the int which turns something into an int and then the list obviously tuple and finally dict function um, and the bool function works exactly the same as them in that it's it's a type modifier so it turns something into a, boo a boolean value uh, but we can use it to essentially find out whether something is true or false because the value that it returns is always true or false. So if I wanted to find out whether number 45 is true or false, I can just use the bool function on it. And we see that it's true. If I want to find out whether minus 45 is true or false, we use the bool function again. For like empty strings, we can f see that's false. For a string with one space in it, that's true. Uh, for empty lists, we can see that's false. For empty, uh, can't really do an empty. Well, I guess you can actually count. Does that count? No. Okay, <laughs> you can't really do an empty tuple then. Um, but you can do empty. Uh, there's another type of list, I guess. And finally, an empty dictionary. So it's a great little function you can use to s check whether something is true or false, uh, whether it be inside a program or you just want to test for yourself. Um, before I go, I just want to ask, can you please rate, comment, and uh, subscribe? Uh, it really helps. Uh, but for now, guys, over and out.